done a favorites video on my channel before um but i was like hey why not start um i enjoy watching favorites so i hope you guys do too so first um i'm not sure if i will be doing a monthly favorites or just maybe just the current faves um I don't think monthly right now because honestly I don't buy like a whole lot of stuff in a month to be like oh my gosh I need you to get this um, so I think I'm gonna do just like a current faves maybe every other month or every few months or whatever or whenever I feel like it um, so yeah so let's just go ahead and jump right into it of my current faves all right so first we're going to talk about a little a few beauty products that I thoroughly enjoy. Um, first, um, I recently started using a new foundation. Um, and I talked about this in my most recent Get Ready With Me video. Um, it is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. Um, I wanted to try a new foundation, so I thought hey let me try um i've heard many great things about makeup forever so let me just try it see how it is go from there blah blah blah, blah. so um i have it on right now and i like it because it doesn't it's very lightweight it doesn't feel like it's like caked on or anything like that um it matches my skin tone um that was one thing that i did notice i went to sephora and swatched it first and um, they didn't have any in stock, so I just went out online and just ordered it. Well, I thought about it first, because I was like, okay, do I really want this, or do I want to um, try something else? So I kept going back and forth, and then I finally just ordered it off of Sephora's website, and I got it, and I must say, I really, 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 really like it, um, because I've been wanting to try another foundation for a while. I usually use MAC Studio Fix and NW45 and honestly I haven't been liking how it's looked on camera um, so I wanted to try something else and Makeup Forever the Ultra HD foundation it um, you know it from the description you know that was like it's great on camera blah blah blah, blah all that type of stuff so I tried it I like it and um, yeah I I'm really feeling it um, and it's not a bad price point either I think it was um, 40 either 42 or 48 I can't remember I'll put it right here um, which isn't bad um, especially you know if it lasts and then I'll still go back and forth with Mac so this will probably last me a little while I just won't use it on camera if I need to do like a quick face I'll use Mac um, but I like it. I think it's worth the buy. So if you've ever been wanting to try it, um, I would say try it. Maybe get a sample first from Sephora to make sure it works for you. Because some of the reviews online, people were like going in on this foundation. Um, they were saying it didn't match. They didn't like it, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh gosh, that's what made me scared to try it. But after trying it um, myself I was like I'm gonna order it so yeah so that's my first fave all right second fave is um, I want to this year I wanted to make sure and invest in um, better products for my skin better tools um, especially with me wanting to do more YouTube videos and stuff like that so I just you know the best thing to do is pick up stuff piece by piece I don't have to go in I'm a grown woman I got bills so um I just picked up another thing from Sephora which is the um, Too Faced Kabuki brush and I like Kabuki brushes because they're small they're compact and they can um, you know you can just pop them in your purse and you know I like them but the main reason why I picked up this one is because it is a retractable kabuki brush See? isn't that so cute and the reviews online were amazing of course and it's just yeah this brush is so soft so 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 soft so 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 soft 
um so yeah and it puts on your makeup really good blends it out good um you can use it for multiple things because it's retractable so you know foundation you know your powder if you want to do a little bronzer action yeah i just i really love it and i love the fact that it has a cover so it doesn't get dirty in your purse it doesn't make your purse dirty with makeup and all of that so this was a great buy this brush was um i forgot the price as well <laughs> but i will definitely put it right here for you guys um but i got this off from sephora as well um love it love it love it love it um i have nothing else to say about this one i just love it it's a really great investment if you're looking for a good face brush yeah Too face kabuki brush all right so let's get into some lip products um so i went on a color pop kind of haul and um i bought some k-pop stuff and all of that but that's not in the favorites yet because i'm still playing with it but um i did pick up the um it's my ray ray her stingray lipstick um uh, not lipstick her ultra matte lip and um because i was like i wanted to pick up at least one color pop lip product um to try it out especially the ultimate ultra matte lip because i've heard a lot of people say great things about it but then i've heard people say bad things about it and i really really wanted to try it for myself so i decided hey why not support it's my ray ray and pick up hers so that's what i did um first impression just being honest it did not work for me i think because i got the line the lip liner that they suggested to go with it but i am a brown girl um that lip liner did not go so i have it on now but i matched it up with my um uh chestnut lip pencil by mac and i must say i really really like it now i i really really like it now i like it better um so it's on my favorites list, my current faves. Um, I love how matte it is. I really like matte lipsticks. I really do. Um, yeah. I really like matte lipsticks. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, some people complain that it was drying, but I'm double checking. You know, I had it on for a minute. And yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Um, not peeling to me or anything like that and it's not cracking or anything like that so I like it I think I'm gonna order some more of the ultra matte lippies um yeah I, I'm feeling it I'm really feeling it then another fave of the lips are the um, NYX liquid suede uh, lipsticks I picked up let's see what is this one I picked up Vintage, um, Cherry Skies, and Amethyst. And I must say that these are really, really cool. Like, I really, really like these. Um, they are, they are kind of like a matte, it's like a, it's a cream lipstick, but it has like a matteness to it. Um, I like the consistency of it. I liked how it felt on my lips. It didn't make it dry or anything like that. So I'm really feeling these. I'm, I think I'm going to go pick up some more. I really like um, nude lipsticks and neutral colors. So I think I'm going to pick up some neutral colors in these. But um, these were about $6. I think 6 or $6.99 a piece. And they're worth it. Um, if you're looking for an affordable lipsticks excuse me guys <laughs> if you're looking for affordable lipsticks and lip um creams and whatever these are cool i got these from target so yeah these are another fave for right now all right so i have two more beauty stuff and then i'm gonna get into a little bit of fashion tech and some food all right so 
This product is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite product um, that you can use for multiple things. And it is the Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Peppermint Pure, Pure Castile Soap. Y'all, I love, 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 love this soap. It is like the best thing smoking. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I use this. Initially, we bought this to use as a body wash because um, my skin is pretty sensitive and I don't like just using random soaps and stuff like that. So I picked this up and this has been a life changer. It gets you clean. It and my skin is soft. It's not drying it out or anything like that. I also use this on my face. Um, I don't use a lot of face products because my skin is very, very sensitive, so I have to be careful. So I use this on my face. Um, I also use it to clean my makeup brushes. You can use it to clean your um, clean your vegetables and your fruit. Um, I also use it to clean um, just other beauty products or beauty things that I have. Um, and there is a long list of stuff that you can use this stuff for. Um, let me see. You can shave your legs. You can, it's a lot, y'all. Like, it's a lot. Oh, you can use this to clean at the house, do a mixture, clean at the house. Um, it, this is like so worth it. I got this from Sprouts. Um, it retails between $15 to $18. Um, usually it depends on like Sprouts, they'll have it on sale a lot. So it'll probably be like between $13 and $15 on sale. And then regular price is like $18 for this bottle. Or, and they're smaller bottles. It's like a, one smaller bottle, a travel size bottle, and then it's a, like I think a half gallon or something like that. So it depends on what you want to get and what you want to try. Um, it's worth it. If you're looking for something all natural for your skin, your body, everything, I suggest trying Dr. Bronner's. This is the peppermint. They have lavender. They have unscented and a couple of other ones. I like the peppermint the best because the lavender smell like grass to me and I didn't really care for that. Um, that's just my personal preference. But yeah, I suggest trying this. It will change your life. So yeah. And last but not least on the beauty tip, I um, picked up this a few months ago, I think at the end of last year, at Sephora being curious. And it is the makeup eraser. Y'all, this thing is amazing. Like, it is, this is worth the investment. I've seen people talk about the makeup eraser so many times. Um, so many times. And I was like, nah, that ain't true. That thing ain't gonna get all your makeup off without soap. Like, that's whatever. Y'all just talking, 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 talking. Just trying to sell something. So eventually one day, um... I think I saw, um, I follow Miley Teal online. I follow the MUA Alex and somebody else was talking about it. And I was like, ooh, okay. Now I trust y'all judgment because y'all ain't, um, y'all don't talk no mess. So I think I'm gonna go for it. So I was in Sephora at the end of last year, bought it. It was like $20 and this thing is amazing. You just wet it in lukewarm water and you just go to town now I had it on this side and I was gonna wash it for the sake of this video but I wanted to keep it so y'all can see how much makeup this thing takes off so don't judge me but look at this look how much makeup this thing takes off and this is like it takes off every single piece of makeup this is honestly saving me so much money on makeup remover wipes. One twenty dollars, and you got something that is rewashable. This is rewashable, guys, and it can take your makeup off. I think you can wash it up to twenty times or something like that or more. And um, it was really, 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 really worth the price, worth everything, worth the hype. 
I think next time I'm going to try to order a black one so I won't have it looking so dirty in the bathroom because my husband was like, what is that? But, um, yeah. But the great thing that two of my faves can go together with is this Dr. Bronner soap will take all of this off. When I tell y'all all of this, like this soap will take every single stain off because I washed it in the washing machine and it still had stains on it. But one day I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna hand wash it. I'm gonna try my Dr. Bronner's and I hand washed it really good and it was like new. So I'm telling y'all get that Dr. Bronner's soap and get this makeup eraser. It will change your life. All right, so my next thing is a fashion find that I picked up. Um, are these beauties? Aren't they so pretty? They're so cute. These are my new favorite shoes. Look at them. Cute, right? Cute. Love them. All right, so I got these babies from DSW about almost two weeks ago. So cute. They are by Sam Edelman. And um, I love this shoemaker because his shoes are so comfortable. I have some loafers by him and now these. And um, I just love these because of the color, the heel height. Um, I can't do the six inches anymore, mainly because I'm on my feet a lot at work. So when I want to dress up on the weekend, I need something that's comfortable. And I found these to be pretty comfortable and very stylish. And um, I got these, like I said, from DSW and I paid $40 for them. $40 for these cuties. So I had to put these on my current faves list because I got a lot of compliments wearing these shoes and they are comfortable, they're cute, and they were very affordable. So hopefully you can find these in your local DSW. If not, I'm so sorry. But um, they're by Sam, Sam Edelman and yeah, I love them. 40 bucks. Cute, right? So cute. All right, so my next um, fave is a new tech gadget that I got. And it is my new camera. I bought a vlogging camera. So I bought the Sony WX500, which is a Cybershot. It's like a new, the new Sony Cybershot. And um, yeah, this camera is really cute. It is, um, I wanted something smaller because my phone, I didn't want to keep using up that memory and then I felt like it wasn't clear enough, especially the front front facing camera. I didn't like the quality of it. So I really wanted a camera that, um, you know, gave us better quality vlogs and you know, I'm all about quality, quality, quality. So I'm like, I want it to look crisp and clear. Like I'm not the super crazy editor. I'm getting there, you know, I'm going to work on my editing and all of that. But at least I want my videos to look clean. So um, I've been looking for a vlogging camera for a long time. Um, I thought about getting the Sony Alpha and all of that. And you know, that was cool. However, just being completely honest, I don't want to pay that much for it. And um, you know, it was just like, eh, I already have DSLRs and the Sony Alpha is like a DSLR. So I was like, uh, uh, uh. So then, um, where I got my other cameras from were from QVC. And that's like a little hint for you guys or a little tip. Like if you want to invest in a great camera, but you cannot, or you don't want to shell out the, uh, $600 or whatever, um, right then and there, go to QVC. You can get a nice bundle deal and you can break it down into six easy payments. This was $350. Um, I didn't pay for it outright. I did the six easy payments thing. 
because I was like, okay, I can, but I could also do my six easy payments, just take it off of my debit card. I have a, you know, I've ordered other things from QVC and they do a really great job. They make sure and take your money out right on time and all of that. So I'm going to do it that way. So I got the camera. This is just a little tripod thing that I bought from uh, Best Buy. But um, this camera one thing i really like about it is the fact that the screen flips up so that when you are taking video of yourself you can see yourself you can take selfies all that type of stuff so it flips up it has a 30 times optical zoom automatic zoom and yeah it's really cool like it's a really really cool camera like I've been playing with it a lot and our last vlog was with this camera and it was just really clear so it's great it's a great camera um, yeah it's worth the price and I felt like it was you know I just I just wanted it I wanted it and I, I'm, I'm glad I bought it because now we have a vlogging camera that we can, you know, it's compact. We can, you know, just, I just throw it in my purse. It's really small, y'all see? Like my hands are small, like really small. So that's how small the camera is. But um, yeah, it's a really, really, really great camera. Like I said, 30 times optical zoom, 18.2 megapixels. Um, it's a Sony Cybershot, Sony, cameras are pretty good cameras like really good cameras so yeah if you're looking for a good vlogging camera or a compact camera i highly suggest this um i got it off of qvc you can pay it outright at i think best buy and stuff are selling it now because this camera is like brand new so yeah this is my tech fave for right now my current tech fave is my new camera love it all right so i have three food items that I want you guys, I want to talk to you guys about. Number one is this. I talked about these before in my Sprouts haul. And it is the Complete Cookie. Oh, these are so good. Now, before I talked about the lemon poppy seed ones, but this one right here, this chocolate chip complete cookie, y'all, this cookie is bomb. And one thing I like about the complete cookies is it's no eggs, no dairy, no soy, no GMO, and it is vegan. And it's 16 grams of protein. So one thing that I have been making sure, I don't feel like I've been getting enough protein, so this helps with it. Um, it is fresh baked. Um, no high fructose corn syrup, 8 grams of fiber, no cholesterol, no trans fat, no artificial sweeteners, no sugar alcohols, and sustainable palm oil. Um, it's really good. Really, really, really good. These run about $2 at Sprouts, a $2.250 at Sprouts. I love this thing. It is a great snack. And um, it tastes good too, but it's not like a super guilty pleasure. So I really, really, really like complete these complete cookies, especially the chocolate chip, because I got tired of the lemon poppy seeds. So this is on my favorite list right now. All right. So speaking of protein, again, I um, of course, like I said, I've been really needing more protein in my diet, making sure that I have more protein in my diet. So this next thing is my fave. It is the Garden of Life Raw Protein Beyond Organic Protein Powder. This stuff is amazing. This is in the flavor Vanilla Spice Chai. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Because I don't like some protein powders. They taste disgusting to me. But this, I mix it with almond milk shake it up in my little blender bottle and this is so oh my gosh it's so good so good i'm telling you y'all have to try this um the reason why i get the garden of life raw protein 
is because it is vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, and it's raw protein. Live probiotics and enzymes, no fillers, artificial flavors, or synthetic nutrients. So I got this from Sprouts as well, and these are like $2.50 to $2.99 a pack. Um, I got the packs because I'm still trying them out and getting Sylvester on them as well. So um, I may start buying like the jars, but we'll see, you know, but for now, I'm just going to get the little packs. Great. All right. My last food item, this thing has been crack, 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 y'all. All right. This right here. This is Harvest Snaps Lentil Bean Chips. <sighs> well, crisp. And this one is an onion thyme. Oh my gosh, these things are so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. All right, so, mm. so good. Okay. So I've been wanting some um, healthier snacks. So these were, I think, two for three dollars at Sprouts. Y'all, I live at Sprouts. So I was like, I have to pick this up. I want to try it. Oh, my nail tech, she got me on these first. She had me try them at the shop. And then I went to Sprouts and I didn't see them. And I don't know if it's because it was a new product or not, but I didn't see them. But then like two weeks later, they had like all the flavors. And they were two for three dollars. So I picked up a few. And they have other flavors like a tomato and basil. That's that's the one I tried at first. But then I tried this onion. This onion is good. I mean your breath be spanking, but it's good. And I like it because it's gluten-free. It's um low sodium. Um it's real lentil beans, vegetable oil, like um it's a it's everything is like you can basically uh i guess yeah but it's just good it's good um yeah i really like it so this is my new favorite snack i love it so much i can i need to be careful because i can eat like a whole bag in a day but yeah it's so good Y'all gotta get these. It's so good. They also have them at Publix. If there's a Publix in your area, um, they have these too. Um, yeah, but they're so good. It's crack. I got my client on this. Like she loves it. It's so good. But yeah, that is my favorites. These are all my current faves. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video. Please tell me if you liked it in the comments below. Um, and if you want me to do more types of videos like this one. Um, thank you guys so much. Love you. Have a great day. Enjoy. Don't let anybody steal your joy.